What is up guys? Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today's a pretty big day because we are headed to pick up our Taxa Habitat oh, Tiger Moth you, from Youngblood RV in Missouri. We're, it, it's been like a three month kind of thing. We, we ordered it, we put our deposit down, we got the Overland Edition. We're gonna show you around it today. We're not gonna do a full walkthrough because today's primarily the pickup, but you need to make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you never miss the video because this summer is gonna be all about the taxa, the tiger moth. So let's cue a montage or time lapse of us getting there, and then the next time you see me talking, we'll be with the tiger moth. Learning all the tips and tricks. Getting ready to sign papers, take it home. Kids love it. Are y'all excited? Yeah. <laughs> They're just lounging. Got the yeah, air conditioner. Yeah. Came with a little campfire <coughs> stove and a little kitchen pull out. There's the table. Show us the table. Oh, yeah. So you have this the portable table, right? So we can take it if we want to release it here. Button here to unscrew. And this will slide out and put it for a bed. So we'll have this entire area to lay down in. Sweet. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, let's keep looking around. Let's let them keep finish showing us. So I'll be really honest. The pickup process was a little bit more involved than uh, we thought it was going to be. And so we did our walk around and stuff, and I didn't get to film a lot just because I was more focused on, it was kind of like a time crunch of picking up and getting somewhere else where we needed to be. So I'm gonna go through, not a big walk around, but I wanna talk about about five things that we're really pumped, um, the features we're looking forward to, to using, because uh, um, honestly, we're ready to get going. We ain't gonna be able to do it for a couple weeks because we're going to Florida and doing a bunch of stuff down there. So let's talk about the five things we're excited about this Tiger Moth. So the first thing is the amount of storage that they have under these two seats right here. So basically these two things will clip up. So we'll show you, you have these little straps. You pull the strap up, you clip it to the carabiner and it opens up storage space underneath. And to be completely honest, when we were looking at it on the video, the amount of storage that it had is a lot more than I thought. It's very deceptive on video just to show how much storage space it has. You can get on there, you got all the blueprints and all the specs and everything. Um, but until you actually in it, it gets kind of rough to see. The second thing we're excited about is just available power, right? So we have a battery on and off switch right here, mastery cutoff. Right now we have it on the off position because we have it plugged straight in, kind of charging our batteries up. Um, it's got 12 volt outlet here. It's got a couple USB ports here. It's got two uh, just regular AC spots that you can plug stuff in if we need to laptops um even if we need another alternator we can plug it in there having the electricity is so important because of the amount of filming and videography and kind of drone stuff that we're going to have and computers is keeping everything charged up ready to go even headlamps you know to recharging our headlamps that we need every time um that's going to be pretty awesome so the third thing we're excited about it's pretty simple but again it makes it's just a, it's a big thing when you start to think about all of it. And that's really privacy. So each one of the three windows that the Tiger Moth has, has a bug screen with it. It's got a shading pull down for privacy and it also they each one open. So in Arkansas, it's going to be crazy hot, crazy muggy. We're gonna want the windows open, but we don't want the, all those mosquitoes to come in. Um, so having that bug protection there, as well as the extra bug protection, that we have with the mesh room is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, so you can see here, this is with the shade down, this is the back window. It has this container, like a little clamp, I guess, that will connect my bug screen and my shade so I can put one up with the other one down. If I need to, I can unhook the bug shield from it and just have it lower down all the way and then you get one of these. Open up, you open it, you can open it, lock it up here, stays open, you know, just pretty simple but that bug shield so what we'll have it a lot in the summer is have it open we'll have our bug shield up clamped up nothing getting in there it's going to be pretty nice and the final thing the thing that probably Brittany was the deal maker breaker for her is this little guy 
right here. That right there is an air conditioner, frigid air, air conditioner. Now, it's not like a, and then you're like, okay, hey, Andrew, you're not camping. It's getting more on the glamping side. You're kind of going a little bit out of the way, a little bit too much um, comfort of home you're trying to sell in here. And to be honest, I agree. So, but that's why we were wanting it. We want some comforts from home. In Arkansas, I mean, anywhere in the South, when it gets summer to go camping on the lake, it's going to be 90 during the day, maybe 75, 80 at night. And the humidity is out of this world. So you're sweating and it's not going anywhere and it's gross. And so we're still wanting to camp here. We're still wanting to go to the lake and we want to be able to sleep at least at, at night. We can get it down pretty cool where we can sleep well. And during the day, if we have to get out of the heat, we have that ability to kick on that AC, get our kids out of the heat, get them cooled off after they've been playing. It's, it's, a, it's a big thing. And um, we're pretty excited for it. I mean, that's going to be the main thing. So again, that is a very quick... Here is our, what we got, what we're excited about. You can see it in the background. A lot more videos coming. A lot more videos coming. This is, I mean, this is just the beginning. So we'll, after we've camped in a while, we'll do a bunch of walkthrough videos. We'll have setup videos of different stuff. A ton of stuff that um, you do not want to miss, right? You don't want to miss any of our adventures that we're going to be having in that thing. Because the one big one, me and Xander are going to the Badlands. And there's going to be tons of little ones throughout the time that you want to keep up with. So make sure you've smashed that subscribe button. Hit that like, comment where you want us to go. Because we're up for it. And it's, um, you know, like we said, with that solar, it's ready for off-roading is ready for anything it's the overland package there is no axle high wheelbase uh clearance we're ready to go so make sure you're subscribed hit the like button and we'll see you in the next one